Hello and welcome. Metal fillings. That's what I'd like to talk about right now. How many of you have mercury and or gold and or any other sorts of metal in your mouth? As a health practitioner, one of the first places I check with my clients is obviously their mouth, their oral hygiene. Now, just think about it folks, if you wanted to create a simple battery, all you would need to do would be to get a little container with some water, get two bits of metal rods and stick them in there. That's a simple battery. So what happens, all the metal in your mouth then creates that effect, because obviously you've got saliva in there. And as I've mentioned before, the first brain is really the stomach. More stuff goes on there than in there. Okay, there's far more bacteria and enzymes and whatever else doing their work down there. That is vital. It really is. Well, all parts of the body are vital. But this is what I re regard as the first brain. So here we have the mouth which has become a battery because there's some metal in there. And then it is swallowed and goes down into the first brain. Now also remember that all metal has an EMF, electromagnetic frequency. So we're not setting ourselves up for success here from a health point of view by having metal in our mouth which will then compromise the first brain. So what do you need to do? Well again I don't want you to believe anything I tell you. Do your own homework. But one thing you could do would be to type in smoking tooth into any search engine. You'll just google it and you'll come across the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology and on their website they've got a simple example of I think it was a 25 year old tooth where they just use a, a, a rubber or an eraser and it's still giving off fumes so it really isn't safe and we've known about this for many many years and I think only recently did the uh, the FDA make some sort of statement claiming that it actually wasn't safe but years prior to that they've always said it was okay trust me I'm not a doctor it isn't so the question is what can you do well, you'd need to see, obviously, a qualified dentist who, I would say, follows the protocol of the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology. That would be my recommendation. And you'd, again, you'd need to Google that and find that out. Many years ago, I had, when I was down in Southampton, I had my metal fillings removed and I felt a lot better for it for my peace of mind. But also I realised that, sure, I would have got some sort of um, poisoning from the mercury and I then took a um, small course um, using uh, chlorella. One cell green algae. 19 of the 22 amino acids I think are in chlorella. There you go, some useful information. So, first thing to look at is there. If you have metal in there, my recommendation is you find a good dentist and get it removed. Thank you very much for listening. Have yourself a wonderful day. My name is Magnus Molina. Bye for now.